How's it going today guys? This is Upside Down Ace and this is the 1955 Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR. Now this is not based on the 300 SL. It has nothing to do with that. It was actually based on a Mercedes F1 car. And man, the only thing I don't like about this car is that there's 722 painted all over the body panels. Every single one has the 722 number on it. And it's a racing car, fair enough. It needs panels, it needs all the paint and everything. I just wish it didn't have it. But look, look at those exhausts. Oh my god. They look sick. I've never seen the exhaust like protrude that far out of the side of the car. It's madness. Madness, I tell you. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we have a convertible car uh, with no roll cage, obviously, because it's 1950s and... Screw safety, we're racing. Got two seats, because that was a requirement back in the day to race. And it's got some pretty cool looking tail lamps there. Tail lamps. All right, so performance wise, since we're on the track now, we can do zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds and a top speed of 182. That is seriously fast for a B-class car. And it's got a three liter, eight cylinder engine in it from the F1 car. And the whole car only weighs 1,900 pounds. So this is a really light little racer. But one thing I wasn't so crazy about was the handling. Handling is very, well, 1955-ish. Not a lot of grip. Uh, you're going to have the back kick out a lot. But, I mean, that's kind of my kind of driving. But this has, like, a lot less grip than I'm used to. So you're going to have to put it around the track a few times uh, just to get used to it. But then what you do, it's a pretty good car. I mean, it's a really good B-class car. Really, really good B-class car. Uh, what else we got here on my notes here? It's a front mid, it's a front mid engine, so it's behind the front axles, but it's not like, you know, behind the driver. So it's a front mid engine mounted car to help improve weight distribution. Now the SLR name stands for Sport Likes Rennen, or something. Whatever that is in German. Someone translate for me if you want. Now as far as racing, let's do a quick like history buff with the racing of this car. It won the 19... Oh, gosh, I got distracted. It won the 1955 Sports Car World Championship. That tells you right there how awesome this car was. It won a lot of races. Very famous. Um, and the one thing that didn't happen was it didn't win Le Mans. And there was a tragic accident at Le Mans. And, you know, they had to pull the car out of the race. So that's why it was winning when it crashed. So it could have won Le Mans. Um, really, this is the greatest race car you're going to see from 1955, at least. Now, it costs 9 million credits. 9 million. That's, that's a lot. And um, you're not really getting a 9 million amount of credits out of this car. But, I mean, upgrade-wise, you, you can upgrade it all the way up to an S-Class, at the very top of the S-Class. 500 horsepower engine, uh, 0 to 60 in 3 seconds, and a top speed of 213. And it weighs about 1,700 pounds. So, I mean, that is some serious performance. I mean, this really is a, Le a great Le Mans car. Because the top speed is just huge. Handling isn't that great, but the turns at Le Mans are pretty easy to take. Now, the reason why it's 9 million credits, uh, you know, aside from the whole it won a ton of races in 1955, they only made 9 of these. 9. Single digit number. And they crashed one of them at Le Mans. So now you're down to eight. You have eight of these that have ever existed. And then Mercedes decided, oh, well, let's make like a coupe version. And so they took two of the chassis and they modified them to make like a SLR, SL hybrid thing. So there was really only seven, no, six proper SLRs in existence. That's a, that's a damn rare car. <laughs> So, you know, overall, top speed is great, acceleration is great, it makes a weird fart noise if you go under like 6,000 RPM in 4th and 5th gear, uh, it's pretty funny. Love the way it sounds, love the exhaust, love the styling except for the numbers, uh, handling is finicky, love the steering wheel, there's a lot of things I love about this car, but it's just too damn expensive. So guys, that is the video, if you enjoyed it, please like it, and as always, don't forget to subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos.